Hello, hello, hello. Part two of this week's Ask Martin Monday. Ask me anything questions. Yeah, make sure you like this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I uh, hope you're having a good week. Um, maybe if you're on holiday with the kids or at home with the kids who are on holiday, enjoying that, hopefully, or uh, whatever you're up to. I hope you're having a good time and uh, not feeling too bloated on chocolate. <laughs> How many Easter eggs did you get? Do you like Easter eggs? I love Easter eggs. But I think I'll just, oh my gosh, I think we're sleeting. Last year's Easter eggs were too many. Really. Anyway, let's get on. Kimbo. Hi, Kimbo. Good morning, Martin. How often should buy to let landlords update their properties when renting them out long term? Well, you want to keep on top of things. You've definitely got to keep on top of the gas every year. You need a gas safety certificate. Now they've introduced stuff where you need to have an electrical safety certificate as of the 1st of April. So you need to have your place checked out gas every year electrical safety certificate i think uh, is every five years but you need to make sure that the uh, it's it's up to date anyway uh and and safe that's your overriding thing is that you you keep your tenants safe in terms of updating it cosmetically that's less important but you know i think you want to be thinking every five or six years to give it a coat of paint you need to be talking to your your, your tenant and finding out from them what they need is is what i would say yeah, happy tenants equals um, happy landlord. Right, James, good question. How soon before completion of the HS2 new stations would you expect surrounding properties to experience their largest increase? So, well, I, you know what? You need to be getting in now because if you think about Ashford in Kent, look at how the prices went, you know, once people kind of realised what difference it makes and it makes a huge difference. So, yeah, you need to be, you need to be in there as soon as you know, um, there's no guarantees that HS2, all of it's going to happen. But uh, if you can take a, an educated guess and the properties in the meantime stack up financially, uh, then I, as soon as you can, as soon as you've got any inkling, and then just hang in there because you'll never be able to buy them as cheaply again. That's for sure. My goodness. WGR7847. Hello. <laughs> Written to by a robot. Good morning. When renovating our property, in your opinion, would you be reasonable? What would be a reasonable price to pay for fitting a new kitchen? Apologies, WRG seven eight seven seven eight five. I'm sure you don't talk like that. <laughs> well, um, I I would say four to six grand. You should be able to get a pretty good kitchen for that and have it fitted. And that you know, if you're doing a medium priced renovation, then that should be. That should be good enough for you. Uh, Wendy Clark. Hello, Wendy. What's your favourite flavour of crisps? Aha. The old crisp question. Um, I am either a fan of old-fashioned salt and vinegar. Love it. You know, just... I'm not, I'm not a big fan of crinkled cut. Don't know why. Just crinkly cut crisps? Really? I mean, really? What's the point? I like traditional old-fashioned crisps. Probably walkers, actually, because they do a pretty good job, don't they? So it's either salt and vinegar or prawn cocktail. Prawn cocktail salt and vinegar. Any else is going to be off, off piece. Really hard question, this one. Beth and G, if you could time travel, but only once, what year would you go back to and why? Well, I'd like to see how Stonehenge was built. Every time I drive past it, I'm thinking, how did they do that? And it's probably just a load of people, right? And lots of bits of wood and lots of people very clever going, hmm, just as druids. But it would be fun to be around. I mean, I'm sure life was pretty rubbish at that time. Yeah, that'd be fun. Or oh, the swinging 60s. I think, oh my gosh, that would be... That would be a bit of a blast. I wonder if we can go back to that now when all people are released from all this lockdown stuff and it's going to go a bit bonkers for a while. I think that, but you never know, it might be. Adam, hi Adam. Hi Martin, how are you? Myself and a good friend, Yeet, hi there. Would like to know if you're listening to any good tunes at the minute. Have a good have a good week. Ooh, good tunes. So, um, I do tend to listen to some uh, to old stuff. So, like, I'm... What was the good tune that I was listening to? Bit of Country. Check out Old Dirt Road. It's really good. By... Rooks and Dunn, if you haven't heard it. I mean, if you like to country, you'll hate it. But it's really quite... I listen to that again and again at the moment. Listen to some old Dire Straits and a uh, bit of 60s throwbacks to Aztec Camera, Lloyd Cole and the Commotions. Listen to re-listen to some of that. Thompson Twins, re, re uh, Hold Me Now. Yeah, Thompson Twins, do you remember them? We weren't, if you're not in that era. But they were really good. So, yeah, those are the kind of tunes I've listened to. Thank you very much for asking. And so... Uh, final question now from Mark WS. Hi, Mark. If you had a walk on tune, what would it be? And do you pick the cheesy tunes in the show? The editors pick the cheesy tunes on the show. I, 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 I point them in the right direction more often than not. But no, they do all the hard work in finding the tunes. A walk on tune. That's an interesting question. When I did a radio show, my theme tune in the days when you had a tune that you played at the start of the show was Her Power But The Tijuana Brass and something called Spanish Flea. 
And I always like that to start my show. I quite like boots are made for walking as well. That's quite funny. Thank you. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, send any questions on a Monday. Ask Martin Monday is the hashtag. Uh, to um, at TV Martin Roberts. I almost forgot my Twitter address there. At TV Martin Roberts. <laughs> Have a good few days. Thank you.